So, on to the next step to having a complete PC maintenance plan set up. This section is easy, it's just a matter of making sure your disk defragmenter is turned on. If you have a disk drive and if you have a solid state drive, disk defragmenter should be turned off. So the first thing you have to do is establish whether you have a disk drive or a solid state drive. So the easy way to check if it's a disk drive or a solid state drive is to look in device manager or systems information. A little note here, if you have a solid state drive, your PC will be very fast at turning on and all apps will open nearly instantly. But if you're not sure, check, as I said, by looking in device manager or systems information. I will show you how to check that now. So if you come down here to start, click on it, up here to computer, right click and go down here to manage. Click on manage and your user account control will ask you do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer. Just click yes and the computer management page will open. So go down here to device manager, click on that guy and then here you'll see disk drives. So see the little arrow here? click on that guy and it will show you what type of drive is installed on your system. So this one here is a Samsung SSD 830 series. So this is a Samsung solid state drive. Now if you have a disk drive it will look something like um, this. So it will say the likes of maybe Hitachi and it will have a model number following that and it will have ATA device. So that's really for the, it's a SATA device. So it'll be S-A-T-A, but it, they just put down A-T-A here. I don't know why, it's just the way they do it. So, or it could say maybe Toshiba. Could have Toshiba here and then a number after, or Western Digital, or Seagate. So one of those three will more than likely be be here and then there'll be a model number after, okay? So that's one way of checking. And another way of checking is, we'll go down here to start. And what we're gonna do is go to um, systems information. So click all programs, go up here to accessories, down here to system tools, and down here you'll see system information and click on that guy you just make it smaller here so we can see where we're at so systems information and come down here to components click on components and down here near the end here it says storage click on that guy the little um, plus sign storage drives disks click on disks and then this information on the right here will open. And you see here model. So again, it says Samsung SSD A30 series. So then you know that it's an SSD. And if it wasn't, in, if it's like I said earlier, it could be Hitachi, it could be Toshiba, Western Digital Seagate, and that would be there instead. And it'll have a number of the model of the hard drive afterwards. Okay, so that's how you know if it's an SSD or it's just a normal um, disk drive. Okay, so I'm gonna close that now. So, if you have a PC that has an SSD installed, solid state drive installed, then you're done because all new systems that are purchased in the last two years that have solid state drives installed have smart response technology, which makes, which takes very good care of your system and your solid state drive. So you should make sure that this defragmenter is off because it's of no use to your system. And if it's on and left turned on, it can shorten your solid state drive's lifespan. So make sure it's turned off. So this is what you should see if you have a solid state drive. This guy should be scheduled, defragmentation is turned off. And if it's not, then you go here and make sure it's turned off by, I'll show you that in a minute anyway. So if you're not sure that you have a solid state drive, drop me an email and I'll find out for you. Okay, 
So now this part is really for PCs that have a disk drive installed. But I will show you how to turn off disk defragmenter if you have an SSD installed, so stay tuned. Now that you know that you have a disk drive, you have to check and make sure that your disk defragmenter is turned on. This is very important for disk drives because it speeds up access time to files and applications. And so it keeps your PC running smoothly. Now, more than likely, this defragmenter is turned on if you have Windows Vista or Windows 7 because it's turned on by default. But if your PC is turned off at the time a defragmenting is scheduled to run, it's not going to help keep your PC running smoothly. So you need to make sure that it's running at least once a week if you want your PC running efficiently at all times. We will now go and check this defragmenter. So this is the guy we're talking about here, this defragmenter. So I'm going to close that now and just show you how to get into this defragmenter if you haven't checked it already. So go down here to start, click all programs, go up here to accessories, down here to system tools, click on that and then come down here to disk defragmenter, this guy here, and click on that guy and then this defragmenter will open. Now, it's stating here that scheduled def disk defragmentation is turned off, so we need to turn it on. If you have a disk drive, you have to have this turned on. Okay, you can see there that it's C, the last run never ran. Okay, so it's, it has never been run on this system. So turn on the schedule. Uh, your user account control will ask you, do you want to, uh, the following program to make changes to this computer? So click yes. And then this guy will open. So you have this defragmenter modify schedule. So the first thing you have to do is run on a schedule, which is recommended. So tick that guy and then frequency. You can do it daily, weekly or monthly. Daily, you don't really need to be running it every day, but definitely weekly. And what day, make sure that your computer is on when whatever schedule you set here make sure that your computer is on for that time uh, uh, once every week okay and the time whatever time you want there uh, you can take it for it's a 24 hour clock so I usually run them around somewhere in the middle of the day so I know that the computer will be on so we'll say 4 o'clock in the evening and select disks that you want to run it will more than likely be set to select all disks automatically defragment new disks make sure that guy is ticked click OK and then click OK here on this guy and now it's set to run at 4 o'clock every Wednesday Next schedule run is the, the date there and at the time and it will run on this guy and also run on this guy so it will run on all disks. Now you also have an option here to analyze your disk, just move this guy down here, analyze your disk so if you're not sure that it's has uh, ran or whatever but you will always see a run time here like this one here, I'll just show you. So, so this is the last run. It will give you a time and how much of a f of a fragmented drive you have. So this one was was done correctly, and it has zero percent fragmented. So in other words, it is set up all the files on your hard drive correctly. So they're all in nice. Um, they're not fragmented so and the same with the, the, the recovery one here so that's really it for the disk defragmenter um, just make sure that it's turned on if you have a disk drive and it's turned off if you have a solid state drive and if it was turned on and you had a solid state drive how do you turn it off Click configure schedule here.
tick on this guy and that will stop it from running and then just click OK and then that won't run, it's turned off. You can see there it says now scheduled defragmenter. De defragmentation is turned off. Okay, so that's it for um, this defragmenter.